We're going to start from the bottom, work our way up. This is team number 56, roping in the first place. Jerry Skaggs of Denison, Texas, to the head end, Joel Maker. Of Oklahoma to the heels. They were 58-70. The luck of the draw. Cattle down, in for two, flag drops. Total time clean in the field at 18 and 80. Cars to the head end. Clay O'Brien Cooper to the heels. Team number 35 of the 56-93. They're in. They're unlucky. Three loops out of the last round in order to stay in there. Come in in the 11th position. Steers down. Try it again, Clay O. And we're in and under. We're clean. Total time with three loops at a 19 and 39. 100 19, 39. Here's your high team coming out. Run, ride, rope, make it work. Two, Walter will do just fine. Stay in there for clean. He's coming up with one. And an illegal head catch, Bobby. We're out. The first team of the top 12 in the fast times to go out. No time. Fourth team to rope. Coming into the ninth place, Dole get him on the Allen block. This is team number 70. Team 70. Gelliman from Oakdale, Allen Bach from Modesto. They're 54 and 86 one hundredths, 54, 86. Before we happen to forget it or anything else to our entire timer staff and secretaries and to our flaggers today and to all of the help behind the scenes, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't mind clearing your hands for a minute, I think they all deserve one heck of a round of applause. There have been some butt busting here this afternoon and they've all done a good job of it. Oh, no. Gellerman with a lost rope. Allen for the trail ride. They're out and down. The ninth place, they would have had to whip up. A lot of bad luck behind him would have had to happen, but it's over. It's over. Two in a row. Ronnie Trahan and Steve Kitchen. It'll be Trahan to the head end. Kitchen to the heels. The 54-63. Barnes and Cooper are holding on, still holding on. Well, that's 76. Here's some team could move them. Ah, you're in there, Jake. Jake, go and Cleo, you're not looking so bad yet. There it is. You're in there. They're out. They're out. We're holding on. Gentlemen, you've come a long ways. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. You roped some good steers today. It'll be all right. Now the sixth team, halfway through the top 12, the Simon boys from Florence, Arizona. Team number 59. They were 18, then 9, then 9, then 8, then 8, 2, 54, 40. As we look to them on 5, here's Jay. Now, Mark, let's do it. Make it pretty, make it smooth, make it... Oh, Lord, look at here. We're 5, 1 in the field, plus 5. Taking our time at a 15 and 54. They're not hurting anybody. Not hurting anybody at all. With a 69.94, I believe now, that ought to move you into the leading position. 69.94. Team in the seventh place roping. That leaves us six teams to go with Sean Steinbach. The Wolf Creek, Montana from Billings is Dennis Tryon. They were 9-1, then 8-1, then an 18-4, 6-9, and an 8-4. 51-25 on five. Head catch is good. Reach around, get a pair, you're looking fine, and Dally boys, you're strong. Now the pressure's going to even it out. With a clean run and a 964, added to the 5125. 60, 89, 60, 89. Now we've got a gap from first to second of almost nine seconds. Here for the next five teams to go is where all of the pressure's going to be. They're separated only by five and two tenth seconds, the top six teams. Rocky Carpenter of Anderson, California. Dennis Gates of Ceres. Team number 26 with a 50-57. Boys, you got to be clean. Coil up. You can still get you some money. Coil up. Let's do it again. Don't weaken. Ride in. Fire it again. You're going to be all right. Dad here now with a 15-63 on three loops. They're clean in the field. They had nine seconds to mess with it. Puts them in at a 66-20, and that'll still hold them second. They came in with a second and a half over the last team that had to have been nine and five to stay right where they wanted to be. 
That three loops is going to hurt. Four teams to go. 47 to 46, 45 to 44. Now we have three and one-tenth of a second separating the top four teams. The team of Paul and Monty Joe Petska, the silent boys. Last night, nobody knew who they were. Today, you got an, in, an in, uh, what do you call it, an introduction, and you're about to get an indoctrination. I can't spell those words, I just use them. Grand Celine and Carlsbad for the brothers. 4791, them ranch boys from Texas rope pretty good. 878 is where they are. Now 5669 puts them to the lead. 56-69, by four and four ten seconds, they're holding the number one spot. The next three teams can either hang and rattle, be clean or fall. With a 46-27 on five, we now look to Danny Garcia and Stuart Pike. Clayton, New Mexico, for the number one team on our list. Garcia from Clayton, Stuart Pike from Lariat, Texas. They were 10-1, 8-5, 9-3, 9-0-6, and a 9-21. 46-27 on five. They've got to be clean. Let's ride. No penalties involved for any of the teams here. It'll gonna cost you two or three thousand dollars a piece. Take a look. Dally, they're clean. We're in there again. We come to the world's richest roping to watch the best in the business. They're 54-89. Now moves them into the lead by two. Actually, two and two tenths of a second. Brett Tanazi, Brett Boatwright, Matt Tyler, and Gerald Camarillo, the best two steers of your lives, need to be roped in the next 60 seconds. Brett Boatwright of Conway Springs, Kansas. Brett Tanazi, Fruita, Colorado, team number 74. Second highest team to rope in the rope off. They were a plus five on one steer, then a 7-3, seven, 7-8, seven, eight, eight, and then an 8-3. 45 and 40 is where they are. Here comes the next to the last team for $26,000. The difference of first and second. Coil up, coil up, Brett. You got another shot at him. The difference of first to second is $6,400. Loop out. Hold your pressure. Coil it up. Make it fit. We pay five monies. We're going from 13-4 to 1,300, but the 13-4 is 13,000. Clean in the field. Three loops at a 27, 23, 27. That's going to hurt. 68, 67. With a 54, 56, 60, 66, 68. You are now... In the fifth place for $1,300 a piece. But the last team, and a team who, as a young man and a middle-aged gentleman, as far as our rodeo business goes, today could make a lot of people happy. This young Matt Tyler from San Marcos, Texas, with a pretty sister and a rodeo family, a pretty good bass fisherman, deserves to win something. This might be the biggest thing in his career. For the 1969 world champion, Gerald Camarillo, he has been consistent for 25 years. Ralph, one of the two, could do it today. For $26,000, they come in with 44 and 87 one-hundredths. Anything, boys, let's try to get them in the single digits. Just be clean. Matt Tyler, San Marcos to the head end. Gerald Camarillo, a hero for years. Get you two, Dolly. He's got one, a penalty of five. A five-second penalty, 13 and 57. You're still going to be in there. You're still going to be in there. And a 58-44 is what we're going to come up with. Ladies and gentlemen, as we look to a time of 54 and 89 one-hundredths, 54 and 89, let's check them all. The number one boys on the list from Clayton, New Mexico, and Larry at Texas, Stuart Pike and Danny Garcia, you are 26. Thousand dollars richer. Nice to have a couple of good old boys in America that don't always win first. It does the roping good and it does their heart good too. Gentlemen, congratulations. You're thirteen thousand four hundred dollars a piece richer. Twenty-six grand. Horse trailers, buckles, and all. Meet the champions, Robert. You're open. Your champions. Let's talk to them. Well, thank you, Bob. Indeed, they did come through when it really helped. You uh, had a little pressure right at the end. Uh, just a little. <laughs> How about them other teams? Were they worrying you? They had us worried. They had a chance to beat us and just didn't go quite their way. When you have a man like Gerald Camarillo running at you, he had a little lead on you, coming in there, a world's champion, a very conservative roper. What would you think when he threw? 
You know, I thought he had two feet, but <laughs> just come up with one, so that. Now, be truthful. Were you a little happy to see just one leg, Stuart? Yes, I was. I heard, the, I heard the crowd yell and thought he caught two, and I seen the leg, and I sure did like it. <laughs> well, I imagine you would for $40,000. Not too bad, Robert. <laughs> Not bad at all. Gentlemen, what are you going to do with the money? You're 26 grand richer, but that's 13 for a piece individually. Headed for Tahoe. <laughs> Headed for Tahoe. Pay some bills, I guess. Pay some bills. The American way. As we look to a $68,000 average, $125,000, congratulations once again. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you both in 1987. Bob Price, not just another open, but the finest open in America, the richest. And as we look to all of the places they've come from, 21 states represented, Congratulations to you for the most successful ever in nine years. Well, thank you, Bob, and I'd like to take this time to thank all of our sponsors that made everything so possible for us. Without them, uh, nothing of this could come true in the dream that we've had today. Well, we had good weather and a great crowd. For Bob Feist, I'm Bob Tallman. We hope you'll join us again in 1987 for the Bob Feist Invitational in Reno, Nevada.